when you are acquiring skills, you need to ensure that that skill can make you more money. For example, when you buy a car, a house, or even a phone, make sure that it makes you more money. You need to know that buying a house that you live in is a liability and not an asset. How many of you know this? Assets are not things that help you save money. No. Assets are things that help you make more money. So if you're building a house with the money you can use to pay for your rent for, say, 30 years, that's not saving money. You can pay for your rent and channel the rest of the money into things that can generate more money for you. For example, if my rent is, say, $1,000 and I have $50,000 right now, it will take me 50 years to pay off my $50,000 rent. But because I have $50,000, I went to buy a house. I paid for everything. So what I did was to pay my rent for 50 years and pay at once. And then I have my house with no rent. All I did was to save $1,000 by investing $50,000. Does this make sense? Obviously, the answer is no. So by the end of the day, you don't have to pay the rent, but you still have bills to pay, like electricity, utility bills, and the rest of them. Alternatively, you can keep renting, then use the money to buy or invest in other things that can generate more money for you. This makes more sense. For example, buy the house and rent it out. But most people would rather kill the goose that lays the golden egg for them. Every time a goose is handed to you, your first instinct is to kill it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is not how to make money. The best thing you can buy for yourself this season is the ability to make more money. Don't buy a house or a car. That money you have plus the money you don't have and the money you have in other people's pockets is called leverage and goodwill. Put that money together and make sure that before this week end or before this month end, you invest it into buying for yourself the ability to make more money. The biggest investment for me is to be able to make more money for myself. And that is why I invest heavily in knowledge, mentorship, and coaching. You need to invest in things that can help you make more money. Invest in yourself. This model of investment is what I like to call continuous learning. Permit me to share with you a concept out of many others that have been proven. It's called the power of prayers. The prayer about money that you have prayed for is going to be answered through opportunities. When you pray to God for money, he does not open the floodgates of heaven and send printed notes to your pocket or to your bank account. <laughs> no. Rather, he sends opportunities to you for you to build wealth. Opportunities are vehicles that take us from where we are to where we want to be or where you desire to be. So God sends you a vehicle. You get into that vehicle and it takes you to where you are supposed to be. And guess what? That vehicle is auto self-drive, meaning you get into the vehicle and drive it by yourself on an autopilot. So once you get in, you receive your instruction on how to get yourself to where you want to be. On this land called Earth, God has given us all the resources we need to use in building wealth. He said, go out there, be fruitful, productive, and multiply, dominate the Earth. So on this land called Earth, you already have the resources, but you need the tools to get these resources to work in your favor. So my dear, go out there and invest in yourself. Go and pay for that knowledge. Go and pay for that mentorship. Go and pay for that coaching. Go and pay to be part of an active, vibrant community that can force you, push you, and challenge you to become the best version of yourself. Share your lessons down in the comments below.